Get access to our exclusive Facebook group when you become a patron or buy one of our kits. Here we are in the great state of Illinois on a mission to build boats and catch fish. Came down here to visit Nate. We're all having a pretty good time. Illinois has some beautiful parts and a lot of unique experience I simply cannot get on the West Coast. So we're gonna go ahead and enjoy those things while we can. But in the meanwhile, we're gonna check out a few things. Bad one. Oh, got one. Right. You're taking too long. <laughs> a bigger thing is we get to check out Nate's boat. One of the best, baddest tiny boats on the planet. Maybe even the best, you never know. But it's a 1660 monster, which is awesome because there's a 16 foot, 25 horsepower cap out here for most lakes and what they do. And this boat by far is probably the best jumbo to bass boat conversion on the planet. First off, we're gonna go and get the right gear. Gear up, head out, and hit as many lakes as we need to. We're gonna try to get on some Illinois bass. And furthermore, I'm gonna try and catch my bucket list fish, fish of 10,000 casts, off of one of my own DIY baits to see if I can pull it off and if I can beat the skunk or will I get skunked again doubling down on my tactics the other day where I came up dry. We'll have to see. By the way, check out our October sale going on right now through the end of the month and if you want a free decal, become a patron and join and get a bunch of exclusive perks. Looking for a musky rod. Let's see if we can find one. That's two to ten ounces. Two to ten ounces, seven six heavy. Two to ten ounces. Lure weight, 20, 40 pound line, power heavy, and that's kind of what I need. What is that? What's the specs on that? I told you I got Two it. Two to ten ounces. It's all about lure weight. It's all about lure weight, and I would like an extra longer buck, but it won't do it. Seven six is not going to do it, man. It's not going to do it. Yeah, it's not going to do it. It's too small. Dude, that one will throw it. What, which one is that one? This is the three hundred dollar one. Yeah, I know. I'm probably gonna have to get it. Probably have to get it and leave it here. Unless you want to send it to me. Maybe like sending me this rod to be. Dude, this one's like so big. It's this is the most ridiculous rod. I love it. I mean, you could get some leverage to sling one though. Hell yeah. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get this rod. I walked over I'm here. I'm gonna begrudgingly buy this three hundred dollar damn G limit or synchro rod. A lot. I'm not gonna be able to handle it. You pick I these looked. up? I looked at it. You need to look at it. These are eight foot instead of eight six. Three to eight ounces. Nah. -uh. Yeah, three to eight ounces. Where? It's six inches difference, but it's sixty bucks difference. Oh, it said three to eight ounces. Yeah. I missed that. What was I looking at? I don't know. I must have not it's grabbed six inches shorter. I must have grabbed a smaller one. Oh, screw that. I'll take an equal rod. And it's sixty bucks. No, I'll take this one. And it's yeah. a one piece. I don't. Of, uh, I don't want to pay three hundred bucks for a rod. I don't even want to pay two hundred and twenty for a rod. What's this two nineteen? I think that's the one I picked up and didn't think it was going to do it. One of them's too yeah, small. Yeah, three quarter to three That's ounce. what it was. Okay, but look, look how, look how similar they look, and I thought it was the same rod. This right. one is definitely thicker. I just saw that. There it is, boys. Fishing for two days, cost money. <laughs> yes, that's a very stout rod. This is it. We found the rod, the only one. Considering Bass Pro's entire rod storage, like, pretty it's, been, it's been like that all year. Yeah, man, it's really bad. There was nothing here. I mean, it's not as bad as like, it, some people just like said it was like desolate. It doesn't look desolate. Dude, if you go over to the fishing It just looks, it looks pretty bad though. What about these edge? No, I'm not gonna get those. What the hell is that? <laughs> what is that? 
Small crankbait? Small, what? <laughs> what, I mean, what's all, are those all like little rubber fingers? Open it up I know. Oh, they let you open it up. It's not sealed. Do they want to give away a secret? For 35 bucks, it better let you open it up and fill it. Mm. That's supposed to store crankbaits? I mean, how? <laughs> what? You're gonna put 10 baits in there? Small crankbaits, so maybe like. Rims I mean, on. if I could have like. You just have an example on the back or something of how they fit in there. I just can't envision how they fit in there. They ain't worth 35 bucks. What's that? For what? All right, jigs. Jigs. Baits, That's here. Oh, these are, are all musky baits? Yeah, all musky baits. Look at the musky baits. You don't ever see this shit running out of Look at this stuff. That's right like a legit jig. Where? Dude, let's take it. Now screw it. I don't want to throw that. You need to get super deep. Super D? Super D. Big D. That's what I need? Super you need a, you need a big D, man. Is that going to catch it? <laughs> are those lures all You'll look like flake lures? Super D. Yeah, I mean, dude, if, if, if no. you go to the place, if you're going to catch one, it's just going to be a matter of... Okay, so that's all. It was stripped all the way out. It was empty. There are live wells in the back under the town. Like the news. It's growing up there. There it is. There's an underground power. I mean, you really don't. I've done that. I've stuck 40 pound G set shock in series. Yeah. I have those in mind. Am I right about this? That's what they swing open. I get home, I'm like. Because my, uh, my, my what boat, was it supposed I, to be? <laughs> well, it was just short. Are these flashlights? Those are expensive LEDs, huh? Yeah. I, I enjoyed the, 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 the adhesive on them. The is absolutely brutal. Better ROTC, and then got to try to keep it as absolutely uh, light as possible. Genius, Jen, you're still running that on the battery? It's still plugged yeah. in? Yep. <laughs> I just plugged it in. Seeing it in person, Real I still think it's really ugly. But, <laughs> but it's four oh, inches up. I also yeah. found the, the little lid. So I found that this morning. It could probably even come up a little more, but we got the negative return because we went out and tested the piss out of it. Checked all the holes, kept adjusting the height, and this is where it was the sweet spot because when she does plane, she still wants to cavitate every once in a while, and you'll hear it. It'd be like, and you'll hear it where it's in a skip where she's sucking some air, but I'm up three inches off of the transom and I'm back six. Yeah. And then this is actually sitting, if you come across here, I'm a couple inches above the bottom of the hall with this. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're maybe that or more with that jack plate, that little power tilt. So you're up like four inches. Yeah, these old beasts, so yeah. two Gs all day. Right. Yeah, all the Suzuki's. That's, yeah. that's that was a modded one though, right? Twenty twenty two. One. Oh, he's got one. Oh, and you have a nice bass. He just caught about a four pounder, it looks like. On a big swim bait. Hold on. Hold on a second. Oh. I'm FaceTiming you. Oh. <laughs> hey, well, let's keep this baggy. There's a lot of them. <clears throat> Fucking. Now I got all excited. <laughs> all right, look at it. Still alive, well, let's just do it. I also haven't even dropped a little bit. Get I 
was just towing around and I didn't, I thought it was weeds, so I didn't tug very hard. Sure. sure. Yeah, I gotta fix this. Got him. He hit it as soon as it put water in it. And you're killing these fish, dude. They're like 10 to 1. bit off by a muskie. Really? 40 pound yep. braid. Gone. Yep. Chatterbait. I, I do it with a weird bite and then click. Gone. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm glad I switched out those hooks. Oh, looky there. Muskie. Got him. Got him on the GoPro. On a chopper. Okay, how are we going to get this dude? Oh, oh, shit. Shit. No good, because I can't grab by his head. <laughs> I can't grab him by his... Look, no. at the, look at the stripes. Jesus, dude. I can tell. He's gonna jump. Don't jump on me. Here, maybe I can just get him right there. Yeah. What do you think? Just watch it. Watch your hands. <clears throat> okay. Well, I'm gonna be holding this. So. Oh shit. <laughs> Look at the thing. thing. I'm looking at him. I'm looking at him right now. I'm watching him. Ah! <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> no! Yeah, those aren't gonna grip on him. Ah! Ah! No, you hooked him again in the gill. Oh, he's got the. He's coming in the boat. Okay. Oh, he got the whole thing, huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right, ready? Yeah. Torpedo. That's definitely a barracuda. Freshwater barracuda right there. I think it's meant to end lives. <laughs> and you got back to your little dinks. Sweet. <laughs> I'm not here gonna top that today. Look at schools of them, dude. That was no! Oh, I think it's dead. This is most definitely dead. Its legs are dude, this thing, this thing is like really destroyed. It's never gonna come back. Use it. Oh super glue will fix it. You know, it probably could, but maybe we're just gonna retire this one. Or I might dissect it to figure out how I, how I weighted it because I forgot how to weight these. I haven't made them in so long. Maybe it's just been so old. Caught a dozen, did you? Yeah, you want to switch your boats? He death rolled in, all in the line. <laughs> Dude, he's heavy. <laughs> I'll jump on the boat. Heavy. <laughs> Here, I'll jump on the. Shit, did he go on a log or something? Yeah. I can't get him out. He did. He's on a log? Either that or he's so heavy. He's in the grass. He's there, he's there, he's there. He's there. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna get head.
I tried to death roll, couldn't get off. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, yeah, you you want here, 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 don't do that. Here, get the pliers. Like, seriously, those Kevlar hook you. <laughs> Alright. Unless you have, like, international insurance. Oh, run away, run away. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't flush yourself over there. Yes. I'm not scared of the musk, I'm scared of my bait. <laughs> Got him? Here, let's get Nate's boat's pretty epic. Feels like an aircraft carrier. I tell you, for a 16 foot 25 horsepower cab range with matters, really confirms everything we've talked about earlier. Four people were fishing on it day one. The boat didn't even flinch, didn't even really move. It fished us fairly well. And it flies. It was a fantastic day. Time well spent, money well spent. Couldn't have asked for a better fishing trip out of Illinois. I finally crossed it off my bucket list. It's it's an elite level John boat, unlike anything else we've ever like been on. It's like an aircraft carrier. And to go out there and to use my bait that I just made, I really wanted to catch my personal best, anything on that bait. And I set records. I caught my personal best muskie, my only muskie, but my first muskie and I caught it on my baits. And I'm pretty happy about that. That's, uh, that's a pretty big thing. And I'm glad I caught it the way I did with the footage I did on the frame rate that I did to get all those things in. I wish I had more time here, but we're out of time for fishing. Now we got to build things. So that's what's coming up. Stay tuned.